TouchTech Gen 4 is a new and improved version of Riverside's TouchTech system. The TouchTech Gen 4 offers the same great features as Gen 3, but with a much more compact and rugged design. Although the system is compact, installing it might seem more complicated than it actually is. Today we are going to show you how easy it is to set up your TouchTech Gen 4 system. When you purchase a TouchTech Gen 4, you will receive the power distribution center, an end cap, and six screws. You will also receive a six button control panel, seven 14 16 gauge flag terminals, a 728 non shielded cable, two control panel end caps, and four screws. You will also need one six gauge wire if your draw is less than 60 amps, and two six gauge wires if your draw is more than 60 amps. You will need to purchase the gauge wire separately. Before you begin to connect the wires within the control panel, you must slide the cable through the end cap opening. Once you have done that, you can start connecting the wires. The wires are to be connected in the order of red, green, white, and black. To know which end to start at, the red wire should be inserted into the slot that is labeled with the number 1. Once you have properly inserted the wires, you can go ahead and screw the end cap back onto the control panel. Similar to the control panel, slide the 6 gauge wire, 728 non shielded cable, and the 7 flag terminals through the end cap. Once that is done, insert the bolt from the bottom of the circuit board through the hole on the left side. Then, place the washer on the bolt. Next, attach a 6 gauge wire to the bolt. After the 6 gauge wire is placed on the bolt, place a nut on the bolt and tighten it down to secure the 6 gauge wire. Once that is done, you can move on to connecting the cable that connects the PDC and the control panel. Locate the number 1 on the main connector and then connect the wires in the same order as the control panel. Red, green, white, and black. The control panel is now connected to the power distribution center. The flag terminals are the next to be connected to the circuit board. The flag terminals snap on right next to each of the fuses. Start with the black flag terminal at CN10 and then work your way up from there snapping each one into place. To help with installation and setup, Riverside has included a circuit diagram on top of the power distribution center. The switches are displayed on the top portion of the diagram and are numbered 1 through 12 from left to right. The first six switches control the six output buttons. The buttons are numbered from left to right, the top buttons are 1 through 3, and the bottom buttons are 4 through 6. When a 1 through 6 switch is down, the button is latched. When an output is latched, that means you can push the button and whatever that button controls will stay on until you press the button again to turn it off. However, if the switch is flipped up for momentary, whatever the button controls will stay on while being held down. Once you let go of the button, it will turn off. Switch 7 only needs to be flipped up for a second control panel. Switch 8 is for the neutral interlock and it is controlled by the second button. Switch 9 is for the brake interlock and it is controlled by the third button. Switch 10 turns on the gun lock timer and it is controlled by the fourth button. Switch 11 is in stealth mode and it will work without ignition. Switch 11 is controlled by the fifth button. Switch 12 controls whether something is sunk or sourced and is controlled by the 6th button. For more information on the TouchTech Gen 4 or any of the other products the Riverside Manufacturing has to offer, please call 260-637-4470.